One, two, three. Hello, friends. My name is Eric Lambert, and welcome to One, Two, Three Bluegrass Guitar. Bluegrass guitar is an exciting style of guitar playing. I know that uh, I had played electric guitar for years, and when I heard this kind of guitar playing, I just couldn't shake it until I learned how to do it. I first heard bluegrass guitar back around 1972 or so when uh, the Dirt Band came out with their Will the Circle Be Unbroken record. And on that record was an amazing blind guitarist from North Carolina named Doc Watson. And uh, when I heard the Black Mountain Rag, I was, I was bit, I was smitten, it was in my blood, I couldn't shake it. And from then, I was uh, introduced to guitar players like Clarence White and Tony Rice and more modern players like David Greer. And it became an obsession and a challenge to learn how to do this and learn it well. Now, when I first started learning how to play bluegrass guitar, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that I didn't need to know a lot of chords, I didn't need to know a lot of music theory, I didn't know how to read music, I just needed to learn some techniques, some very bluegrass guitar type techniques, and I would be off and running. Now one of the very cool things I discovered right away was uh, that I could use a capo. And of course, I had never used a capo before. I, I came from an electric guitar background. But by learning how to use the capo, I could take the chord shapes, the techniques, and I could begin to move them up and down the neck into different keys by using and changing the placement of my capo. That made things very accessible and a lot easier for me to understand. I've organized this course into six easy to understand sections. We're going to be studying everything from rhythm playing and chord voicings to melody playing and soloing as well as repertoire. Within each of the sections, I'm going to show you three really key techniques to help you become a good bluegrass guitar player. We're gonna work on bluegrass techniques like chord shapes in G, C, and D. Get that rhythm playing to sound bluegrassy. G chord, G7, C. Alternating bass, it develops that pulse. Walking the bass, creating energy beneath your chords. Hammer-ons, a great soloing technique. Half-step dissonance, getting that old banjo sound. G-runs, a staple in bluegrass guitar playing. Harmony slides, a great way to alter the voice of your solo lines. Open string ring, a technique again we get from that banjo picking. Hammering thirds adds a real character to your rhythm and solo playing. And of course, that great banjo twang. So in the last section, I'm gonna show you the rhythm parts, the melody, and some soloing for six bluegrass standards. We're gonna learn how to play the Carter Family Classic Wildwood Flower.
as well as roll in my sweet baby's arms. The nine pound hammer. Will the circle be unbroken? That good old Mountain Dew. And a fiddle tune, the Arkansas Traveler. I learned how to play bluegrass guitar a good old fashioned organic way, what they used to call oral tradition. You know, sitting across from another guitar player and, and liking what I heard and said, hey, how do you do that? I like that. That's why we put together a lot of play-alongs in this course, so that I'll play something, then you can play it, then we can play along together. And that's good old-fashioned oral tradition. You're gonna play your way through this course. And that's why I prepared these rhythm tracks and backing tracks for us to study with. While I use the medium tempo backing tracks to demonstrate most of the examples in this course, I've also prepared and included slower rhythm tracks and faster rhythm tracks. A lot of times bluegrass is played at a pretty quick tempo, so work yourself up to speed by taking advantage of these different speeds and tempos. I learned how to play all of this stuff sitting across from another guitar player. And I would love for you to do the same thing. Use those ears, they're very powerful. Get the melodies up in your head, get these parts ringing in your head, and this stuff will come to you. Now with that said, I understand that a lot of you may like to look at tablature and read tablature, which of course I've included in this course. Enough talking chit-chat from me. Let's pick. <laughs>